So, uh, good day once again, uh, guys. Uh, welcome back to our uh, video tutorial ng ating simple logo layout. No? So, part pa natin, we already made the uh, cargo line. No? Itong red logo at yung cargo line. No? So, we do a trace tracing method right here and we, all, we made a couple of shapes tapos property bar no? in frame options natin. So, next natin gagawin na yung ating Netflix logo. So, gagawin ko lang guys, so we have to just to create or insert a page you know, after this cargo line. Now, we can rename also the page now. So, let's say this is the cargo line. See that. Now, we can rename this page as the Netflix. Yes. Kasi yung document size natin ha, sa lahat ng, ano, lahat ng cargo, ah sorry, sa lahat ng page available yan. So, kukunin ko lang to si Netflix, no? Copy ko lang. Control C, go to the page, and then Control V, no, page ng Netflix. And uh, since na kung ano sa, sa, sa previous video natin ng part 1, naka-group to, so we need to ungroup dito sa property bar, or Control U on, on the shortcut key, and then delete natin itong card line. And go dito sa Netflix. So pwede naman natin itong i-trace na lang guys, pero for the sake of discussion, no, uh, para rin malaman natin o no, ma-master natin yung Corel Draw X7. So, I'm going to create this or lay out this Netflix logo on use, using the 7 basic elements of art also. So, let's go ahead. So, since uh, we need to change the size of the document, no, itong page natin. So, this is the 4, four inches by 4 inches, let's say. So let's go ahead and change the page to 4.25 by 4.25. Okay, and remember letter P for center page. P, saan saan natin magkita yan? Sa object and then align and distribute na center to page which is letter P. So, no. so sa mga susunod natin na video, hindi ko na yan, no? I will go to the shortcut key. No? So let's say this is on this, this bitmap is on the right for a portion of the document, I just hit letter P for center page, okay? So, yan. And same process tulad ng ginawa natin. Punta tayo sa object manager. We are working into layer 1. This is the bit Yan. Because we are telling these different pages, na page 1, page 2, Netflix page. So, master page, so ayan guys, yung pinaka-main guide ng bawat pages. So, bitmap, so tulad ng ginawa natin, transparency tool ng the toolbox, and then uniform fill, and then, uh, let's see, let's, let's say 70%. So, cool, 70% is uh, uh, take spine with me, no? And then, once again, to lock the object. Right click on the layer, and then lock object. Okay. So we are still working into page 3. So right click, uh, create a new layer where I can get the Netflix logo. So we name it into Netflix logo. And I'm working right now on Netflix logo. So we can call it the minimize it. So, tulad ng dati, no, nung discuss natin, we are seeing different uh, different shapes right here. No? Pero very, very prominent sa akin is the positive space and the negative space. I saw a different uh, or a three rectangular no which is vertically aligned no? I can work angle na ron nakatayo so let me work with the rectangle tool which is the F6 so rectangle tool and let's say I'm gonna draw a rectangle right here from top to bottom and I will just reconsider this curve no tulad lang din ang gagawin and we're going to use a different technique para ma Paano natin yung curve niya. So, let's go ahead to click this, uh, this rectangle, no? pick tool, go to, to step and repeat, and we need to offset this horizontally, and I need to spacing between the object, 0.25 going to right, and number of copies, only one. Okay, yeah. And then I just hold the shift key and then realign this into... Uh, yan, say ito ko lang natin, nilalain lang natin sa dun na holding dun. And we can match this into smaller version. I, I add C, uh, uh, 0 before number 1 yan, para mag-merge na. Hindi ka natin yung image mo. Yan, nag-merge na. Hand tool to zoom out. Okay. 
So, you have two objects right here, no? So, parang meron tong certain shape nito na may curve, no? May curve na shape. So, nagamit tayo ng isang tools para dyan, para makaproduce tayo ng curve. So, una, I need to trim this curve lines, no? Itong curve lines. So, I just, I have to disregard first this, this option, no? So, kailangan lang muna natin ma- Uh, doon mga ano pa ma-distribute. Ah, sorry, ma-trim itong curve na to. So, ang gagawin ko lang guys, using the this, the freehand tool, which is the F5, I will going to pick the desire, no, ah, may desire. And then, from point to point, click ko lang yan, and then, show ko lang yan, click ko lang dun sa corner ng each, ah, sorry, edge of those two rectangles, and then, any of the, any of the, The next line will be any part of the document. I just need to close this area. No? Pagka na, guys nakita nyo na, it change yung ano, di ba? Pag ito open, and this one close, I need to close this no? para maging very close. Yan. And then, let's go now with the quick tool, no? this one. I mean, we need to curve this, no? So, this, this is already uh, a curve or a shape tool, no? Let's go with the object manager, yan. Curve. So, yung the curve, no, na parang rectangle siya, but distinguish as a curve. So, yung mga curve na, you can uh, shape that uh, or de define or parang, uh, ano na, modify, modify natin to. Sorry, ha, puyat na kasi. Uh, right here, on the shape tool, which is F10. No? Yung F10 na yan, most probably, lagi niya meron yung curve. Yung mga curve, yung madalas niya na, tawag doon na modify. So, click natin to, and then, Left click, uh, click, uh, tapos right click, you need to curve. No? I think this is curve part, di ba yan? Tapos, iangat lang natin para makita nyo yung tawag dun na ma-form natin yung curve of tool na need natin na natin minus. So, click lang natin, eh, yung pick tool or and, uh, we can, uh, mini, uh, uh, sorry, zoom out and then space bar. Choose the pick tool, kasi yung pinakawalang ginamit natin, or pick tool din. And then choose multiple natin to ito, and then trim. Okay, just trim the other half, and it automatically turn to curve. And then check natin to, and click also, and then trim. So, ito kailangan pa natin to para dito mamaya. So, we have those options na. So, I need to, du to duplicate first without without this trimming this part muna ito isa para, para dito sa is natin. So, control din lang muna natin. Ang kailangan natin to is step and repeat natin to. Go to step and repeat and then apply. Okay, we have this uh, third rectangle natin. No? Let's say that. And then, this rectangle, kailangan, pwede mo natin itong e trim. So, hold the left Okay, uh, left click natin yung gusto natin yung shape na itang nabawasan and then ibawas dun sa isang shape, shift key, yan, magiging available sa property bar ito, ito mga options na to, and then trim. Okay, we still need this one, remember, yes, I will just want to keep this curve no, na parang may angular shape. Nakita yung hair line ko. Yan. So, So, we need this, no, itong transformation, kung wala, i-add nyo lang, no, hanapin nyo lang yung transformation dyan, pero I already got mine. So, transformation, meron tayo ditong skew, no. So, yung anchor point ng pag skew we can check this one, it's either on the middle, no, pag nag-anchor point na, for example, letter X, yung X kasi yung, yung dito, no, X, yung Y pa tayo. So, let's experiment. So, let's say 10, 10, 10 degrees. So, apply natin. nag skew sa X kin yan. Pagka sa letter Y naman, zero natin. Let's say 10 degrees. Yun, nandun siya. Sa may parang sa taas, sa Y axis. So, Y yung patayo, X yung pahiga. So, zero. So, let's go with, let's say 20. Tapos yung anchor point, anchor point, let's say, gamitin natin itong corner part. So, may kita nyo yung corner part na yun yung nag-anchor point, no? No? So, Balik tayo dito, may lay natin 0, apply natin. So, no, no, nothing change. No? So, control Z na lang natin, ibalik natin sa dati. So, I choose the anchor point on the middle, no? kasi nasa middle na lang siya. Tapos, let's try 20 degrees now. So, it's something we need to compute. Ooh, nagsumamba ako, it's still 20 degrees, no? 1 
one hit pero hindi delete yan ang mga value mga ganyan so I think I'm fine with this one no? medyo tapat lang natin ng konti yung mga corner na yun no? ito so kailangan ito naka corner dyan ayan naka corner yun dapat dyan check din natin yun no? dapat ito naka corner So, if hindi natin makuha dun sa may dito, it's still changing. So, remember, we can still use the F10, the sweep tool. Ayan, and then, we can move. Go to Object Manager. Object Manager. Ito lang. Natin. Ito, kailangan makapay. Show Object. All pages. Ah, pen show object properties. Show page and layers. Aha, what happened to you? Yon, edit across layers. Na minsan na may ari talaga yun. Edit across. Yeah, uncheck lang natin. Expand and sometimes. It happens by doing weird things, no? So, we are still on the logo. Like, it's logo layers. So, click lang natin to, no? So, pag nag-shape tool tayo, guys, mara-remember ninyo pag naka-curve, di ba? Nakaganyan yung ito, parang icon niya. Ito, naka-shape siya yung object, hindi siya naka-curve. Kaya kapag kiniklik natin to, ang nag-ano sa kanya, yung kanya ito, yung parang roundness ng kanyang corner. So, simple lang ang, ang gagawin natin dyan, no, guys? Gagawin lang natin, no, choose natin yan, no, click natin yan, and then right click natin, tapos uh, convert to curves, which is control Q, convert to curves. So, mapapansin nyo yung curve na yun, ito, nag-iba na ng icon, di ba? Naging curve na siya. And then, we're going to choose the F10, the shape tool, tapos, i-click lang natin yan, yan, tatapat lang natin yan dito, sa edge ng bawat rectangle. Ihalo lang natin. Ayan, yun naman, yan. Ayan mo. So, I think I'm fine with that. And then, double check natin dun sa isa. Sa dulo, ayos. Oh, thank you so much. So, pwede rin natin in-edge yun. Ayan, in-edge yan. Alright. And then, the other, sa other corner. Ayan. Okay, ano na, fine na siya. No? Talagang tumama na lahat ng corner niya. So, same lang ng process natin, guys. So, choose the pick tool, which is uh, itong, itong, itong curve na to. Tapos, choose natin yung kaninang ginawa natin and then the picture natin. Yan. And then, we don't need this anymore. Let's click. Yan. We got the three shape. So, yan. Yan sa next click. So, let's try na give a different color. So, dito sa Netflix na ito, anahin natin. Parang darker value yung ito kesa dito. Nung red to, ito mas darker value ng ito. Nakapin natin. So, choose lang natin ito. This is color red. So, we have the already color red. Ah, sorry, sorry. Darker value. Ito pala yung color red. Color red. This one is a darker value of red. So, we can choose the color right here. Ito, click natin. Pero kailangan darker siya. So, ito dito sa part na to. Nagdagan lang natin ng, let's say, a 20 black. Ayan. Kasi, C is for cyan. Ano? M for magenta. Y for yellow. K is for black. So, para malaman ninyo, ano po ba yung sarili mga kulay na yan. So, C, cyan. This is the color of cyan, which is parang blue. It's a printer. Magenta is parang pink. And yellow, 100%. Yellow, yan. And we have black. This is the color of black according to printer. So, we need color red. So, magenta plus yellow is equals to pure red. And then, kailangan lang natin yung darker siya ng, let's say, 15%. Or even, let's go with 20%. Oh, 20%. Oh, black and click. Okay. So, yan. Darker value na siya. And then, instead of... Merong option dito kay, kay, kay Corel Draw na instead of, pwede naman natin i-click na lang. Or we can choose Control or yun, 
uh, dito yan sa edit, repeat, modify style. Kung paano yung huling action na ginawa natin, yung nag-fill tayo dito, no? So, ang kailangan lang natin gawin, guys, itong, itong si Turbo to itong tabi sa layer na nasa taas. Oops, control din natin ng group. Kailangan hindi mag-group. Ayan na, nasa unahan na siya. And we just need to remove all of the outlines. Ito. Now, so yun. Control C, we already got the Netflix, but uh, let's double check the Netflix right here. It has a shadow right here. And I think we, yung red na ito medyo mas darker pa compared to, to what we did. No? So let's go ahead and change or add additional percentage. Let's go with 30%. Uh -huh. I think much more darker, 40% and yan. And then click natin, so repeat lang yung control R. So we got those in Netflix. Yan, pangalaman um, yan. Pero sobrang yata sa dark guys, balik natin. 40, 35 lang. Okay. Ah, Parenta lang. Final na to, friend, ha? Ano lang ba gawin ko? This is final. Control R lang natin. Yun! Okay, batang bata. Okay, Netflix natin, guys. So, so, susunod natin yung shadow. So, meron kasi ditong drop shadow option. So, let's tignan natin kung yung drop shadow option ni ni Corel Dry mag-work dito sa ating uh, Netflix, no? Netflix logo. So, check natin to. Or what? Not, not check. Click natin kung portion na to. Okay. May nung shadow nung to. Diba yan? May shadow. May itong dalawang to. So, click natin to. Let's go with the drop shadow option. Ito. Drop shadow option. Click natin. So, meron na ditong presets na mga from top to bottom. Yan. Alam nyo naman yan. So, let's try with small glow. Let's see if it's work. So, yung small glow, no, nakakita natin glow siya. So, it on normal. Naka-normal siya. No, tapos yung color is green. You can change this to black if you want it to. Yun. Diba? And we can go to multiply. No, multiply whatever difference. Diba? Nothing happens. Change natin to subtract. Hmm? No. If divide. No. So, may mga options tayo na ganyan. No? And saturation. Invert. Soft light. Hard light. Yan. Normal, add, subtract. And usually, multiply kasi yung ginagamit kayo sa, sa, ano, no, sa, sa mga shadow darker values. Yeah. And it seems na this option is not, ano, hindi siya. Hindi ito yung kailangan natin na, yun natin, no? It, it doesn't leave us the the desire na gusto natin gawin. So, gala natin clear drop shadow. No? So, pinakita ko lang yung option ng drop shadow, guys. And sa mga ibang video natin, may encounter pa natin siya, magagamit pa natin siya. Ang kailangan natin, guys, yung makapag-produce tayo, no, nandito lang sa loob na itong dalawang rectangle. Ayan. Okay? So, oh. so, balik ulit tayo sa basic elements of art. So, what I'm seeing right here, this is, Parang rectangular in shape siya, correct? No? Yung itong, itong ano natin, no? Shadow natin. Parang rectangular in shape. Na naka-transparent. No? Na parang nag-transparent siya. So, let's try to work with the rectangle doon, you know? Using the Bezier tool. I'd rather, I'm sorry, I'd rather go to the Bezier instead of doing, uh, creating a rectangle. Uh, triangle, sorry, triangle, sorry, triangle. Yat ko lang si sir, sorry. So, punta lang tayo sa node dun sa bawat edge, edges ng neto. Neto, 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 neto. Yan, 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 yan. <laughs> no, wala na ako ng terminologies. Okay. Tapos, yung edge lang din neto na gusto natin lagyan yung shadow. Ayan. Ayan. Click, left, click lang. And then, zoom in natin na. Punta natin. Ayan. Okay. And let's have this color block. Ayan. Uh, Pure black lang siguro, not this black. Ah, sige, black na natin totally. And kailangan natin may ilagay ito sa likuran ng meta. Right? Okay, are we correct? And then I wanted to choose, uh, change the outline to no outline. And then this 
this must be you know, no, transparent with that transparent doon you know, going that uh, side it's check ko sa mga pool ba lahat sa pool naman ang hindi lagpas yung shape natin sa loob ng rectangle na let's go with the transparency tool let's try this transparency tool and then choose a fountain transparency na no? may kita natin fountain transparency no? yung black area ayun yung wala nang transparent ayan di ba check check natin ni slide lang natin to guys yung ano 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 yung triangle, hindi siya ganun pa-close dito. So, we can modify this shape. Ano, oh, ito. Black na F10, tapos, yan, holding the shift key, I think, ang ganyan niya. Okay, tapos, choose again the transparency tool para re-adjust natin ito. Hinapan lang natin ang magandaganda. Ang gulo yan. Para hindi siya magulo. Transparency. Pasan natin. Oh, sobra. I think we can type. So, let's type. Yan na. Till we get to the side we want. Okay. Angle. Uy, control G, nagalaw lahat. Isa na itong angle na ito. Ayan. Ayan. You know, yung transparency, oh. Sobra-sobra, oh. 80, 90%. Check natin. Check. Ito. So, medyo nakuha, pero ito yung much softer. Softer yung value na, yung, yung shades niya, na hindi ganun ka-prominent dapat. Let's try another one. Transparency tool. Uh, let's go with multiply, cancel, cancel, and we need to click this, this, I don't know, this curve. Click natin. Mm -hmm. Normal, let's go with multiply, and then linear, oh, yeah, linear, correct. Don't like the mini control. No pattern. Color pattern. Vector pattern transparency. Let's check this vector pattern transparency. Ah, uh -huh, naka pattern siya. Di, di. And this is the pattern, no? <laughs> di natin kailangan to, guys. I think, ito, ito, di natin kailangan to. We are Ang kailangan lang natin na itong transparency yun talaga. Itong fountain field. Yun. Ganun na. Kaling softer value siya. Yun. Ah, that's what we need yan. Kaling softer yung value niya. And I think we need to adjust this. Ano oh, mas malaki lang? Yun o. Oh. O. Oh. Ha? That's what I'm talking about. Kailangan natin pala. Kailangan natin guys i-sacto yun sa kanto sa edge nung netong, netong red na to. So yun. Okay. F10. Kailangan natin i-sacto to sa edge na dito. At yun, pre, ito. Kailangan din natin i-sacto to. Hindi ko pwede. 
Yan. Double check. Yan. Tapos para malaman natin guys kung ito bang ito, ito nakasakto ba dito sa ano, naka nasa edge din niya. Syempre hindi natin makikita. So ito yung ano nung wireframe. Sa view wireframe nakikita niyo. So ano, wala siya sa edge, no? Layo. So F10 natin to. Punta natin din sa edge. Yan yung purpose ng wireframe. Wire Double check. Dito rin. Kailangan po naka wireframe din. Dulog-dulo. So, ito kahit hindi naman na masyado, ito kasi nakukurbol naman yun. So, yan. So, ito talaga eh. Kailangan natin yung retain yun dyan. So, yan. And then, view. Balik lang ulit natin yung enhanced version. So, yan. We have the first shadow right here. And gagawin na natin, duplicate lang natin itong shadow na ito. No? Duplicate lang natin yan. So, we go to, but it's either control D or step or repeat. So, Punta tayo sa step and repeat. And one, going to right, apply. Yan. So, kailangan natin to patanggingin. So, if we need to mirror vertically, yan, we can mirror horizontal. And then, apply lang natin to. Yan. If, uh, it doesn't fit, no, well, dun sa ating, sa ating, ano, Try natin. Yan. Yun. So, yun. I-wireframe lang ulit natin. No? View. Wireframe. Yan. Tapos, click lang natin to. Punta tayo sa object manager para make sure na kayo. Nakaano tayo sa kanya. And then, i-drag lang natin to. Yan. I-nudge lang natin. Sorry, drag tuloy. I-drag lang natin on the edge. Yan. Okay. And, we are good now. So, view and enhance. So, right there, we have the, the Netflix logo using simple way of creating logo now. Uh, Netflix logo. So, we can put now the FA. I don't know the font of the Netflix. So, let's say Netflix. Ha, ha, ha. Netflix. Change this to whatever, ano, whatever font we want. Yeah. Netflix, change the size. Nakayan natin na font 36. And put this. No, I, I, I like to group this. This, this, ano, tawag na, this logo na gano'n. So, control G. So, mag-group yan dyan. So, I-nudge lang natin, mali itong nudge. So, kung gusto siyang i-nudge ng pataas, ng ano, tawag dun, going up. So, bababaan ko lang yung zero para malaki yung nudge. Nudge natin to, tapos, gusto ko to, naka-center. So, shift key lang natin, i-click lang natin, so, center, yan. Yeah. And then, all that click natin, tapos, wait, kung gusto natin, itong group din natin, and then, key to center page, naka-center page yung buo na yan, and then, control you to ungroup yun, mag-break siya. Control, let's palitan natin yung Netflix para ang corner na naman. Yun eh. So, center ko lang to. Center. Yan. Control, Netflix. So, export nyo lang ulit. File, export. Yan. Logo, uh, exercise number. Logo exercise number 2. Netflix. Netflix. Ayan, portable PNG, nandun sa may folder na gusto kong save, and then export. Remain as it is. Oops, ang problema nga lang na export din ito. Cancel natin. So, kung gusto natin guys, hindi kasi natin dinilit to, di ba? Hindi natin dinilit tong Netflix, nasasama siya. Ang gagawin lang natin guys, para hindi siya masama sa export, yan, check natin yung print, tsaka yung view. Control E to export. Ayan. Uy, hindi na retain yung name. Exercise number 2, Netflix logo. Netflix. Tapos, portable PNG, export. And that, it doesn't, hindi na nag-show yung ating export. Ang problema nga lang, bakit kasi ang si Cargo Line? Kasi, nag-export tayo ng kasama yung page 1. Kailangan page 3 lang. No? 
Hindi natin ito pakita sila page 1. And sila page 1. Hindi dapat kasama nyo. Yeah. What is CL? Yan, yeah, dapat hindi kasama. I-ano uh, natin yan. Yan, yung nag-a-allowed natin. So Netflix dapat kasama. Yan. Yeah. Once again, control E. Go the Netflix. Export. Yan o. Yan o. Yung Netflix pa nga yan o. Okay. So, everything is fine na. Yan. Ante alias. Okay lang na. Then, hanapin natin kung nag-export na siya. Netflix logo ito. Yan. Preview. Yan o. Netflix logo. Okay. So, yun yung sa part ko natin. And next natin yung Mitsubishi guys. So, puputulin ko na kasi para mas mabilis mag-upload. No? Hope you, you understand what we did right here. And hopefully, makagawa kayo na agad ng inyong activity. So, best of, best of us guys. You can like and also share. And if you wanted to, pag-subscribe din na rin. No? Para magtuloy-tuloy tayo dito sa ating ginagawa. Lalo na sa pag-upload pa ng for future use of this YouTube channel, maybe. So, yun. Adios, guys. Nanakap na ako.